National Safe Boating Week is officially underway, Citrus County. And of course, we're in the middle of National Water Safety Month, so we had to catch up with Jessica Barnes from Kayla's Coats. Now, if you don't know her personally, you probably have heard of Jessica through her tireless efforts to make sure no parent goes through what she and her family tragically went through in 2010. Now, one of the organizations she works with, a really great place, PD Aquatic Swim Academy in Homosassa, is where we caught up with Jessica over the weekend. Yeah. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jessica Barnes, and I am the founder and Kayla's mom um, of Kayla's Coats. May is National Water Safety Month, and we have Safe Boating Week that's coming up as well. In Florida, this year already, in 2022, we have had 22 fatal drownings of children. Um, I think most of those have been five and under, but we, we count those 18 and under is what we keep track of. So it is very, very important that as a whole community, especially in Citrus County that is surrounded by the water, that we are educated not only of in-water safety, boating safety, but dry land water safety as well. Um, we need to know that when we're around the water, especially if we're going on boats or if we're fishing on the dock, we've got those life jackets on, especially when you have non-swimmers. When you're around a pool, if you have a pool or if you live on the water like we have many here, uh, make sure you've got um, door alarms up. Make sure you have fences up with those self-latching gates that stay closed so that we don't have any little escapees trying to get out because we all know toddlers. It doesn't take them long to make a, a, a fiasco of anything. Um, we also want to make sure that everyone knows CPR. Um, when you've got a water-related emergency, we need that air, so make sure you're giving them that air, not just the hands-only CPR, because we need to get that air flowing back through the body into the brain. Um, we also need to make sure that there's always an active water watcher. That water watcher needs to be somebody that is knowing how to swim, um, and that they're gonna be watching the water at all times. Um, and then, especially those non-swim times, because that's when we have a lot of those drownings that are occurring, um, is whenever we don't have a swim time that, that we're swimming, they wanna go swim. So making sure that we're always aware of where our children are um, so that you know we stay as safe as we can be. So if you are looking for more information on water safety, if you want to make sure that you are safe and your families and neighbors are safe around water, you can contact us um, at our Facebook page, Kayla's Coats, we're on Instagram as well. And then also kaylascoats.org is our website. We are accepting um, donations and those donations will go to our swim scholarship programs. Um, we also have our life jacket loaner stations. Um, set up at McCray's, there's one at Fernando Beach, and then we have one at Fort Island Trail Beach um, so that we can make sure that everybody's safe. So all donations will go to one of those wonderful programs that we have so that we're able to keep Citrus County zero drowning like we have had in the past couple years. Thank you for making sure that everyone stays safe. Hands down, head down, go get them. This Citrus County Live community update has been brought to you by Nature Coast Healthcare. Now with two locations to serve. Highway 44 Crystal River across from Manatee Lanes. Highway 44 Inverness next to Apopka Marine. Nature Coast Healthcare. Now accepting new patients.